Hey guys, and happy full moon. So at the new moon, we set our intentions that jive follow line with the energies of Leo so that we can jump on that Leo energy and kind of ride it through the month, right? So we're setting our intentions that jive with the energy that's already in play so that we can work smarter, not harder. And from the new moon to now, we've been working on it. And working on it is going to look completely different from person to person. Maybe you were really focused on your affirmations or the intentions that you set and you kept them close at mind. Maybe you actually started trying to practically put actions to those intentions. Or maybe you're a set them and forget them person, kind of like I am, and you set them and then you just didn't do anything else from there. And that's totally okay also. Either way, the energy is going to peak out now. So now we want to start to slow down. We want to start to pay attention. The full moon illuminates. It's, you know, it's bright in the sky at night now. And that's going to shine lights on all of the things that need to be brought to light. The full moon kind of has a bit of a reputation with like law enforcement and hospitals and emergency workers and yada yada because it's when all the crazies come out. And it's because everything in the shadows is being brought to our attention, to our awareness, out into the open. And that may look like a lot of different things. It may look like truths being unveiled, um, hidden agendas, hidden things you didn't quite see or notice at, at first revealing themselves. Perhaps it's things that weren't working or now falling apart. Because, you know, to create new things, to bring something new into your life, the old that's taking up that space needs to fall away. You have to make a mess to clean a mess. In order to bring something new into your life, you have to have room for it. And that often looks like chaos or crumbling or loss. It's the phoenix from the ashes. You gotta burn it all down to build something new. And sometimes that's super dramatic. And other times it's more mellow. So just kind of look out for things to be revealed. Right now is the time to enact some full moon rituals, which are whatever you want them to be. Mainly we want to relax. We want to start slowing things down. So like self-care practices are great full moon rituals. So light some incense, light some candles, um, dim the lights, take a hot bath. Do whatever you got to do to relax and breathe deeply and maybe ponder. Meditation is a great time. To, it's, time it's a great time to do meditation and just sit there and open up your mind to let whatever be revealed be revealed. So you might have some epiphanies or some ideas. If you like to journal, write down what you're feeling, what things are going on right now, what kind of energies you're noticing. You can charge your crystals under the full moon if you like. I have a blog post that you can find on the website that details how to do that. I also have a blog post on sacred baths that you can do with crystals and stuff if, you, if you're interested in that. That's something you can look up. There's a search bar on the website, but if you can't find it, just let me know and I'll go grab it for you. So the moon energy, whether it be a new moon or a full moon or any other of the ones in the cycle, lasts about three days in, every, in each direction. So you'll start feeling the energy and noticing the energy a couple of days before the full moon or the new moon, and it'll last until a couple of days after. So take this time to just kind of pamper yourself and pay attention to what's going on around you. And from here until the next new moon, we're going to start slowing everything down and taking our time and clearing and cleaning. Okay, clear, 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 creating space around things that don't work anymore, things that you don't want, any clutter, those kind of things but also like in your head. So cleaning and clearing your belief systems and any thoughts that aren't serving you. It's a great time for Reiki and chakra balancing. So we're cleaning and clearing all of the energy within us, all of those energetic blocks that are hindering flow and causing us problems. And we'll do that until the next full moon. No, sorry, the next new moon, which is, I don't know what it's in. It's, this past one was in Leo, so this next one should be in Virgo. 
Okay, yeah, I went and looked it up, and it is in Virgo. They usually go in order, but every now and then they, they get a little wanky. So go pamper yourself today. Uh, think about cleaning and clearing the energies that you don't want. And start planning your Virgo stuff, which I will, you know, I'll, I'll put out an episode the day of to help you know what to do with that. But you could just as easily, if you want to get a head start on it, Google the aspects of Virgo. I will post it in the Facebook group when that comes back around. But you guys have fun and let me know if you need anything. Love you. Bye.